So Andy, another another area that I've sort of it really enjoyed collecting and finding out about is cricket related ceramics. And uh, you can see that I've got a couple of cabinets of, of China and we just picked out a few particular pieces of interest. One, uh, what, possibly the, the, the oldest, well one of the oldest pieces in my collection is this creamware jug. Um, I think it's from about the 1850s. Good Sussex boy there, Tom Box on the front, the wicket keeper. Um, full of pilch and uh, William Clark of, of Nottinghamshire and uh, this this jug is in lovely condition it's an original 1850s jug and it's one of my favorite cricketing things okay. um, moving on uh, we'll do these in chronological order uh, this is Jackson and uh, Lord Hawk it's a it's a mug that was produced in 1905 quite a um, large mug jug sorry quite a large it's mug. quite it's quite a large mug it's in beautiful mm. condition it hasn't they often they often chip these mugs mm. they were testing out the new um way that they had of, of uh transfer putting print. it transfer printing images onto onto ceramic and uh has got a really clear beautiful image of hawk the yorkshire captain there and uh and and jackson so that's a really nice old old mug from 1905 um I know you're a sorry man, Andy, mm -hmm. and I thought you'd like to see this. 1952, Royal Dalton was still based in London at the time. It hadn't moved out, moved out. It was based just down the road from the Oval in, in South East London. And to commemorate the winning of the county championship in 1952, they produced this mug and uh, signed by all the players, a dedication to the captain, Surridge, the famous feathers on there, uh, more autographs, and... Um, they gave one of these to each of the players so I don't know which player this would have come from but it's a, it's a, it's quite a rare item I think it's a lovely yeah. cricketing collectible so probably I'm the best mug in your collection John probably the best mug <laughs> well obviously I, I, I prefer box to yeah, be honest fair enough. Um, the other thing that I probably also prefer is Tony Gregg so here he is this, this is a quirky Bendigo pottery in uh, Australia um, produced they did a famous mug of Bradman I have got one of those but this is this is one for a, the centenary tests Australia v England Greg there he is the great Tony Greg uh, the England captain and Greg Chappell the Australian captain mm. there and that's a nice quirky a mm. bit of quirk a nice item from the 1970s I can remember seeing Tony Gregg down at uh, Woodbridge Road in Guildford just after he got sacked from the captaincy at yeah. time and he was playing for the twos at Guildford. That's it, 1977. Like a big tree stand up yeah. in the middle of the pitch. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. yeah. I was, he, looking he was through the he fence. Was a, he was a, uh, a genuine he was a great legend of the game. He was a yeah. great cricketer and a great man. Hmm. So, and these, I put these in again for the Sussex Connection. Please forgive me for that. But these were published, produced, they're recent. They were produced by Rye Pottery. This one in 2004 and this one in 2008. And they're a representation of James Lillywhite, the first England captain. Also another good Sussex boy. And uh, so I'm pleased that I've got those. They're, they're not that easy to, to track down, but they're, they're beautifully done. And they're, again... Just lovely tactile, really nice things to have. So there's a there's a little bit on the on on my ceramic, Sandy. Right. So Andy, what I've got out here is a, just I don't have a huge amount of bats and equipment in my collection, but just a few um, bats and some balls and a stump that are of, of interest. The first thing, let's start with the stump. Another lovely piece of Tony Gregg memorabilia, 1976. This is a this is a stump from the game at Old Trafford, the one where you'll remember that Edrich and uh, Brian Close were bombarded uh, by Michael Holding and others. And uh, this stump is signed by, by both teams from that game, which is a nice one. Uh, I particularly like this old this bat, 1926 Australians, signed by uh, signed by the uh, the. Actually, I picked up the wrong bat there, so we're going to have to. I particularly like this. You're going to edit that, can't you? <laughs> I particularly like this one, 1926 Australians. 
signed signed by the whole team there. Collins, the captain, and and, and the rest of the team. Uh, that bat is a, a Jack Hobbs bat, and on the on the reverse, there's the England team that played in the game that they call the greatest test of all, 1926. Although maybe 2019 Headingley is now the greatest test of all. But this is this bat is from that game, signed by the whole Australian squad, and on the back there. Uh, by the England team that played in that match. Um, here's another lovely piece of Sussex stuff, 1939, just before the outbreak of war. Uh, it would have been Jim Parks' benefit year, and I'm sure this bat was produced for Jim Parks' benefit. Signed at the top by Tate and Gilligan, by the team that played Glamorgan that year, and then on the back, there's some more great Sussex names, so uh, it, it in, including um, Joe Vine, the great... Uh, Sussex batsman of the of the early part of the century, George Cox Senior. There, look, um, took 16 wickets in a match in his when he was in his 50s at 1926 at Horsham. And then here's the York some, some of the Yorkshire autographs, including Verity, um, from that match that we talked about, uh, 1939, the game that finished as war had broken out. And um, turning to the balls. Just three that I've picked out. This one, just a white ball, just shows it's the, the way the game's changed. This game, this is from the Champions Trophy, 2007, when the West Indies beat England at Lords in the Dark. I don't know if you remember that game. Here's a nice, I'm not really sure about the provenance of this, but it's a signed ball by, it's signed by Jim Laker. It looks as if it's been used. I understand, I think, that it's a limited edition, so he produced several of these. I don't think there's any pretense that this is a ball from the match. He produced several of these, but it's it just celebrates the 19 for 90 against the Australians in 56. It's got the date written on it, and it's signed there by Laker, and I, and I now keep it on that rather nice wooden stand mm. and and this one perhaps the most interesting of all uh, of all the the balls in the collection um, it's from the Nelson Mandela tournament for Sussex uh, South Africa it's from the Nelson Mandela tournament for South Africa under 15s cricket in 1996 he'd uh, just become the president and He'd signed it here on the 31st of July 96, and there it's signed by Nelson Mandela. So, I believe that would be that would be quite a quite a rare piece That's of cricketing memorabilia, nice job, quite eh? a special one. I, I, mm. I like that one. Mm. Thanks. Very good. And another thing that I've done in recent years is set up a website, um, Cricket Memorabilia UK. The uh, the actual email, uh, the actual website address is www.cricketmemorabiliauk.co.uk and the idea of that is that all of the spares and all of the all of the extras items that I've collected uh, are now available for sale and so it's an easy it's a very easy website to use uh, and I have on there things like um, scorecards so if you if you look on the website it's all segmented and there's scorecards and for example there's here the Surrey B the Australians 1953 signed by seven or eight of the players that 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 will be available on the website NCC v the Australians 1926 um, England v Australia the, the the greatest test match 1926 as well that's all available on the on the website and it's very easy to use uh, let me just illustrate that if you click on scorecards here and you see there it is England v Australia 1926 the oval scorecard 30 pounds and there's a, a simple way of, way of paying for it the, there's a lot of signed things on the website all of these scorecards sorry all of these postcards look at this there's Bradman the slightly more obscure Leicestershire cricketers Damien Brandy and Dave Brignall and there's Chris Broad Dennis Compton Dennis Compton, Constable, Cowdery. See, it's all neatly in alphabetical order. E easy to to follow through, and to, so if any of the if anybody wants to have a look at that, they can. And uh, if you want to sign up, then that's easy to do. But if you'd prefer to deal with me directly, uh, then I'll put my website 
at my uh, email address and you can give me a shout so that's just a, another thing that I have going on okay. to add to my cricket obsession so uh, these are some recently acquired items they are actually available for sale on the website this is Don, Don Wilson's MCC sweater but I think from the tour to Australia there's the sleeveless sweater there and here we've got his long sleeve sweater uh, another one a beautiful Mark Ramprakash uh, sleeveless sweater from his days at Middlesex and from the days when players wore lovely cable knit sweaters mm -hmm. and this one shrunk a bit I'm afraid but it's Mike Gatting's England one day sweater I saw Graham Fowler had one of these uh, showed one, showed his one of these on Twitter recently but those are all available at uh, cricketmemorabiliauk.co.uk so have a look if you're interested so county caps are another collecting area it's not something that I've ever really been into but it does occur to me that maybe I should try and complete my set at the moment I'd have a long way to go I've only got three of the 18 um, the caps that I have got I've got this nice Sussex cap uh, that cap has belonged to Jason Lurie who was a really really important part of the 2003 championship winning team a lot of people think he's the best bowler ever to play for England and that's Jason's cap the Yorkshire cap belongs to a good friend of mine Mark Robinson the Sussex Sussex coach in the 2006 uh, years and he kindly gave me his Yorkshire cap um, a, a few years back and uh, that's a, an important part of, of my I'm really pleased with that one and this cap equally important another friend of um, friend of the family Eric Edrich his son Richard is a is a friend of ours and this is Eric's Lancashire cap and mm -hmm. Richard kindly gave me this a few years ago so I've got the three um, and it's not something I've ever gone hugely out of the way to collect but maybe there's another opportunity there for me to mm. seek out all 18.